Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. And in this video, what I wanna do is I am going to be showing you how I'm going to upgrade the Brother SC1900 with the latest software update that happened this month. I believe it happened on the 17th of December. So if you have a Brother SC1900, it is time for you to upgrade your software. So one of the things that I wanted to do in this video is show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do it. So first things first, guys. Now, let me tell you guys what you're gonna need. You're going to need a USB flash drive, okay? And one of the things that I recommend is you make sure that on that flash drive, you have absolutely nothing on it, okay? Nothing at all. Make sure that it is blank because you don't want the sewing machine to be confused trying to read other files that are located on the USB file, uh, on the USB flash drive. So you wanna make sure that this is totally blank. You don't have anything on it. The other thing that I highly recommend you do is you're gonna to need to get the driver to install on that USB drive. So one of the things that you're gonna to have to go is to the website. You're gonna to have to go to support, and here it is, guys. It says support brother.com that is where you're going to go and you're going to end up right here on this site okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start typing so that you guys can see exactly what we're going to do so what we're going to actually do is we're going to do a product search let's start there and i'm going to actually put se and then i'm going to type 1900 here it is so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to hit search and let's see what happens. Awesome, it takes us right over here to the Brother SC1900. Now, as you can see, this is a really great place. So if you miss the, you know, if you kind of lost your manual or something like that, or you have any questions, you need troubleshooting and stuff, this is a great place to go for support. But one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna download the driver because we wanna upgrade our machine, remember? So we're gonna hit over here to this section right here where it says downloads. So I'm clicking on this and then right here, it says what's new. It's December, 7, um, December 17, 2025. We have an updated software. It's version 11 dash, um, slash 10. Okay, so this is what we wanna do. Now, like I said, you wanna make sure that on your computer, you have your flash drive on there completely empty, all right? And you want to download the file that is in accordance to the um, PC that you are working on, okay? I am a Mac girl, so I use Mac, and I'm actually going to do MOS. If you are Windows, you're going to select Windows, and then you're going to select the operating system version that you are working on, okay? But of course, I'm gonna go back to the Mac because I am a Mac person, and I am using a Mac OS, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And this is the software that you're gonna click on and it's gonna go ahead and it's going to download it, okay? So I'm gonna click on this, update software, because this is the one that we want. And then the other thing also is you got to agree to their um, agreement, okay? So if you want, you can go ahead and you can read all of that. Um, and then you go ahead and you hit agree. Once you agree, your software will be downloaded. Mine gets um, downloaded on downloads folder and then I just do a copy and paste and I put it over to the USB flash drive. Now, a couple of things before we leave here that I wanna tell you. Um, here it kinda tells you how to check the version of the machine that you currently have, okay? Once you have your machine turned on, this is actually the screen and then this is the button that you're gonna hit and you're also gonna be scrolling to the right page, and that is where you're going to know what is the version that you have, okay? So the other thing that it also tells you is how you're actually going to per perform your machine software update. Now, it does tell you here that you're going to need the USB flash drive, just like I said before, and I want to make this a little bit bigger so that you can actually see um, what it actually says in here because it's exactly kind of like what I'm saying, okay? It says, when using the USB flash drive to upgrade the software, check that no 
data other than the upgrade file is saved on the USB flash drive being used before starting the upgrade. So you need to make sure that if you have any files on that flash drive, you get rid of them. Okay. You want a clean USB flash drive with only the file. Okay. The other thing that you need to make sure is that that USB flash drive is formatted as a fat 32. Okay. So once you have formatted that and you know, there's no, there's no other files on there. You go ahead and you download that flash drive that we just downloaded, copy and paste it, make sure it's on the flash drive and then you are good to go. All right. And then, you know, it just goes step by step on how you can actually do the actual update on the machine. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to take my flash drive right now. I'm going to go and take this over to my machine because I haven't upgraded it yet. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to upgrade it right now. Okay. So let's go over to the brother SC 1900 and let's perform the upgrade on the machine. Okay guys. So here we are with the brother SC 1900. Okay. This has turned into my travel machine. So I had to get it out of the bag and hook it up and plug it in. Um, so let's take a look at this. So first of all, I'm going to turn this on because I want to make sure that it powers on correctly and that, you know, I can check the software. Okay. So if you want to see what version you are currently on, on your machine. Okay. One of the things that you want to do is you want to hit this button right here. And right here, you're going to have like different types of pages that you can go to, right? And you move the pages by using these numbers right here. So I'm going to go actually backwards. Let's see. Keep hitting. All right. So awesome. So this is the page, all right? So as you can see right here, um, I have a lot of stitches in here <laughs> and this is my version. My version on this machine is 111. So if you ever have a question about what is the current version that you are running on your machine, that is how you find out. Okay. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to now just go ahead and install it. So I have my USB flash drive. And I want to go ahead and I want to install it. Now, in order to do this, you have to turn your machine off. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shut this machine off. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flash drive that has the file that I downloaded on there. Nothing else is on there. And I'm going to actually plug it right into the machine. There we go. So now it's on the machine. Now, one of the things that you want to do is you want to turn on the machine. And when you turn on the machine, you want to press this button. Okay. You want to press the button, which is the, the needle down. Okay. That's the button that you want to press. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn on, I'm going to press the button. I think you're supposed to do it at the same time. Um, not sure. Let's see. Um, think you do. So I'm going to do it at the same time just to see. I'm going to press this button down. Okay. First press this button down, keep holding it down. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to turn on your machine, keep pressing it. And then here you go. Now look at the message that I am getting. It says, please load after connecting the USB media containing the upgrade. Now, as you can see, it has the little button that says load. So what I am going to do is I'm going to click on this. Okay. And then right here, it's going to say, it says it cannot find it. Why? Ooh, that's not good. All right. So let's try this again. Maybe I need to pull it out and pull it back in. Hit load. It says connect to the media. I am press load after connecting, saving the upgrade file. Do not power the machine off. And it looks like it's working this time. Maybe it just wasn't reading the file the first time, but look at that 45%. I'm at 45% right now. 
Okay, looks like it's going. It says do not turn it off or anything like that. So we're just gonna let this go until it's done, that it's complete. So it's at 45% right now. So, Where are we? We're at 54 now. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Now it's saying cannot read it. That's weird. That is weird. Let's try it again. Let me take this out and then add it back in. Hit OK. I'm going to hit load. Don't know if I had missed something. It says it cannot. All right, so I'm going to take this out. Let's give it a shot. Sometimes what happens is you end up with a little bug or something like that. So I'm going to hit OK. All right, and I'm going to turn off this machine. I'm going to let it rest for a little bit here, okay? I should be getting something that says soft upgrade complete, and I don't think I did. So now I'm going to turn this back on. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so I'm going to put the USB back in here. And I'm going to hit load. Okay. And it looks like it is, okay. Okay. Now it's at zero. Let's see what happens, guys. Because I might have to copy the file again to the USB drive. 36, 45. It's reading something. Okay, we're still waiting. Come on, baby. Okay, we're at 54 now. A little more than half. Looks like it's a little slow. If this does, doesn't work, then what I will do is I will recopy or maybe reformat this USB drive and then recopy the file on here. Now we're at 63. Okay, a little bit better. Sometimes you have that little fluke that happens. So we'll see. And I'm doing this in real time, guys, so. Um, staying at 63 for quite some time. So I'm wondering, going to try to let it do its thing. Sometimes you just got to be patient. Okay, moved up to 72. It looks a little better. It's really taking a while here. So I'm sorry for the, uh, the camera. I'm trying to position the camera in a better way. Believe me, I, I know on the camera, you see all these like squiggly lines. There is, I think it's because it's just trying to focus. And it says, saving the file. We're at 90. Okay, looks a little promising. It says, saving the upgrade file. Do not turn main power to off. So we're at 90. So we're making some progress here. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Hope it goes okay. Ninety nine. <gasps> we got it. All right. It says upgrade 
complete. Okay, so let me look over here and now it says I can go ahead once you have that, okay, one, according to the directions, once it says upgrade complete, you can safely remove this out of here, okay? Now you want to turn off your machine, so I'm going to turn it off, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn it back on. Let's see what happens. Yay, we got our brother sign again. Awesome, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Awesome, so let's take a look at the version, okay? There you go, 1.12. And 1.12, was that supposed to be it? Yep, that's the new version. Um, that's pretty weird because, yeah, 1. Point, yeah, 1.12. No, it said 1.12 was the other one. I wonder. Yeah, that was it. That's it, guys. 1.12. is yep that was it okay so let me show you guys here okay because i wanted to make sure because for some reason i got kind of confused all right so let's go over to my laptop because i want to show you guys what it really is but here it is that is the latest software update okay from december 17 2025 it's 1.12 there you go so easy pleasy. That was not um, really hard to do. That was pretty easy. Uh, looked pretty good. So um, yeah. So guys, this is how you upgrade the Brother SC1900. So if you guys got one and your software is a little updated, you know, out of date and stuff like that, go over to their website. Easy to do and um, enjoy your machines. So hope this video was helpful and have a good day and happy sewing and happy embroidering. Bye, guys.